Ladies and gentlemen, the RTX 2060. To kick off CES 2019, NVIDIA invited me Sunday night to their press conference and the following day to their gaming suite to check out all the new offerings for 2019, and I'm glad I went. Now, NVIDIA kicked things off on Sunday night by outlining sweeping plans to put the work on the new radical graphics technology of real-time ray tracing in gaming and content creation in pretty much a dizzying array of laptops and desktops. Now, speaking to about nearly a 1,000 attendees, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang announced the GeForce RTX 2060, which at $349 makes NVIDIA's new touring architecture accessible to tens of millions of PC gamers. NVIDIA's unveiling of the RTX 2060 was the highlight of a flurry of announcements including more than 40 new laptop models in 100 plus configurations based on new Turing generation GPUs. And of course, laptops are not left out here. They brought real-time ray tracing on a laptop. These advancements are supported by a host of new systems from major PC brands featuring the GeForce RTX. Now, gamers can also dip into a range of new thin and light laptops featuring the GeForce RTX 2080, the RTX 2070, and the RTX 2060 GPUs. NVIDIA announced a record number of laptops from all the top brands, many of them thin and light models featuring NVIDIA's Max-Q design. Now, these systems make it possible for gamers to enjoy the latest ray tracing enhanced games such as Battlefield 5 while playing on battery power because they're more power efficient GPUs. And that's pretty good because remember the days of two hour gaming or less? Well, that may be a thing of the past. At least that's what Nvidia is claiming. Of course, real world testing will have to prove those claims true. We'll see. And finally, in the gaming suite, NVIDIA showed off its cloud gaming service. It's a beta service right now, but has tremendous amount of potential, especially for a student in a dorm room or business traveler or executive who's traveling for business, who has some downtime and wants to do gaming on a thin and light business laptop, such as say the Dell XPS 13 or even a MacBook Air from years ago. And they demonstrated this to me. All the work was done via the internet. So the servers will do all the processing in terms of the graphics power. And wow, no drop frame everything on high settings, very little lag, if any. So I'm really impressed with the potential of this. Right now, there's about 500 titles, more coming. This is still in beta, but really what they showed off to me really impressed me. I think you might be as well. Now, the good news is I will be getting some review units of these very newly announced laptops into the studio running these brand new GPUs. So stay tuned, a lot of exciting content on the way very soon. And don't forget more content from CES 2019 on the way. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.